Good morning, Pre-K. Today is Tuesday, April 21st. This week, we hear the stories of Christ's appearances to his disciples after his resurrection. The two friends in today's story don't recognize him. So let us begin. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. On the day it was discovered that Jesus' body was no longer in the tomb, two disciples were going to a village called Emmaus. Jesus himself came near, but their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And he said to them, What are you doing, discussing with each other while we walk? They answered him, Are you the only stranger in Jerusalem who does not know the things that happen or have taken place? Jesus asked them, What things? They replied, The things about Jesus of Nazareth, and how our chief priests and leaders handed him over to be condemned to death and crucified him. It is now the third day since these things took place. Moreover, some women of our group astonished us. They were at the tomb early this morning, and when they did not find his body there, they came back and told us, that they, that they indeed seen a vision of an angel who said that he was alive. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So I want us to silently reflect in our hearts for just a minute. Are there times when we are so absorbed in ourselves that we miss seeing the holiness in the people all around us? I know for me sometimes I get so busy with things that I have to get done throughout the day that I forget to notice the beauty that God puts out around me to see each and every day. So we need to take that time and always be watching for Jesus and God speak to us in many different ways. Uh, this morning I'm going to read to you The Magic Hat. One fine day from out of town and without any warning at all, there appeared a magic hat. Oh, the magic hat, the magic hat. It moved like this. It moved like that. It spun through the air and over the road, and it sat on the head of a warty old toad. Oh, the magic hat, the magic hat. It moved like this, it moved like that. It spun through the air like a bouncing balloon and sat on the head of a hairy baboon. Oh, the magic hat, the magic hat. It moved like this, it moved like that. And it spun through the air from way over there. And it sat on the head of a sleeping old bear. Oh, the magic hat, the magic hat. It moved like this, it moved like that. It spun through the air, it's true, it's true. And it sat on the head of a kangaroo. Oh, the magic hat, the magic hat. It moved like this, it moved like that. It spun through the air for a mile and a half and sat on the head of a lofty giraffe. And then with a skip and then with a hop, a wizard appeared with a sign that said, stop. So everyone stopped and stared in surprise at the wonderful wizard with sparkling eyes who took from his beard with a nod and a wink, a wand which he waved and what do you think? 
the toad, the baboon, the bear, and the roo, and of course the giraffe. Oh, what a to-do. Turned back to the people, dazed and confused, watched by a crowd that was highly amused. While no one was looking, the wizard, meanwhile, skipped out of town with a mischievous smile. And of course, on his head was a fabulous hat that made all the magic wherever it sat. I hope you enjoyed that story and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye, Pre-K.